Rock. What you doing? Hi, Max. I've been working on some new recipes. Oh, cool. Can I help? Please? Well, I've just given my Pokemon some new recipes. I want to know which they liked best, but I need to get some more ingredients for the next batch. Can you write down how much they ate of each recipe? Yes, you can count on me. I'm on the case. Great. Thanks, Max. Just write down what you find on that pad there. Let's see. Max wrote they ate two-fifths of a cup of recipe A, and three-fourths of a cup of recipe B, and one-third of a cup of recipe C. Uh-oh. Two-fifths? Three-fourths? One-third? All different! How am I going to know which recipe was the most popular? Come on, guys. What do you think? Ludi Colo. Oh, never mind. I think I need some help. Ada? Hi, Brock. What's cooking? New recipes. I gave my Pokemon some new food to try. I want to see what they liked best, so Max wrote down what they ate. But they're all different fractions. What are the amounts? Two-fifths, three-fourths, one-third. Oh, I see the problem. The denominators are all different. Oh, right. That's the bottom part of the fraction. When fractions have the same denominator, it's easy to see which one is larger or smaller. But what about now? Right. If the denominators are the same, the larger the numerator, the larger the fraction. But in your case, we have to try something different. We have to find the least common denominator. Easy. Three is the least denominator. Well, hang on. You're right. Least means lowest or smallest, but common is something that is shared. So it sounds like we have to find the lowest denominator shared between the fractions. How do we do that? By finding the least common multiple. I thought we were talking about denominators. We'll get there. Multiples are the numbers you get when you multiply one number by all the other numbers. One of your measurements is one-third. Look at how we can find some of the multiples of the denominator 3. So the multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. You can keep going and going, but that's enough to get us started. So if I wanted to compare one-third to three-fourths, I need to find the multiples of four as well. Right. Look at how we can find those multiples. The multiples of four are four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six, and forty. That's it. Now let's line them up and compare them. Sure. Both have a twelve and a twenty-four. Which number is smaller? Twelve. So that's our least common... Can I call it LCD? Sure. The LCD, or least common denominator, for one-third and three-fourths is twelve. Awesome. So now the fractions are one-twelfth and three-twelfths, right? Actually, no. We multiplied the original denominators by four and by three to turn each into twelve. We need to multiply the numerators, too. Look at it this way. Now, which is larger? Uh, they have the same denominator. Which numerator is larger? Nine is larger than four. That means nine twelfths is bigger than four twelfths. So that must mean that three fourths is larger than one third. That's it. I get it. So now I know that my Pokemon liked recipe B more than recipe C. But what about recipe A? Now you can compare the two-fifths of a cup of recipe A that your Pokemon ate to the three-fourths of a cup of recipe B that they ate. So now I have to find the LCD, or least common denominator, of two-fifths and three-fourths. Right. Okay. The multiples of five are five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, and fifty. And the multiples of four are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. What multiples do they share? 20 and 40. The LCD is 20. Now it's time to match the numerators to the least common denominators. Let's see. I multiplied the 5 and 2 fifths by 4 to get 20. 
So I'll multiply the 2 by 4 to get 8. The first fraction is now 8 twentieths. I multiplied the 4 in 3 fourths by 5 to get 20. So I'll multiply the 3 by 5 as well. That makes 3 fourths into 15 twentieths. Now which fraction is larger? 15 is larger than 8. So 3 fourths is bigger than 2 fifths. Wow! That means recipe B was the favorite. Actually, my Pokemon tried some of my other new recipes. Let's compare the amounts they ate to see which they liked better. Click on the least common multiple for 3 and 5. Drag it from each row into the empty denominator boxes. Great! The least common multiple for 3 and 5 is 15. The new denominator for our fractions is 15. Now type new numerators in the boxes to match the least common denominator you found. You've got it! You multiply the old denominators 3 and 5 by 5 and 3 to get the least common denominator 15. Now you also multiply the old numerators 2 and 4 by 5 and 3 to get the new numerators 10 and 12. Click on the fraction that is larger. Right! When fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the larger numerator is the larger fraction. Let's try another pair. How about 5 sixths and 4 ninths? Click on the least common multiple for 6 and 9. Drag it from each row into the empty denominator boxes. Great! The least common multiple for 6 and 9 is 18. The new denominator for our fractions is 18. Now type new numerators in the boxes to match the new least common denominator you found. You've got it! You multiply the old denominators 6 and 9 by 3 and 2 to get the least common denominator 18. Now you also multiply the old numerators 5 and 4 by 3 and 2 to get the new numerators 15 and 8. Click on the fraction that is larger. Right! When fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the larger numerator is the larger fraction. Let's try another pair. How about 1 fourth and 3 sevenths? Click on the least common multiple for 4 and 7. Drag it from each row into the empty denominator boxes. Great! The least common multiple for 4 and 7 is 28. The new denominator for our fractions is 28. Now type new numerators in the boxes to match the new least common denominator you found. You've got it! You multiply the old denominators 4 and 7 by 7 and 4 to get the least common denominator 28. Now you also multiply the old numerators 1 and 3 by 7 and 4 to get the new numerators 7 and 12. Click on the fraction that is larger. Right! When fractions have the same denominator, the fraction with the larger numerator is the larger fraction. Now I really get it! I try making new types of Pokemon food a lot. That means I have a lot of leftovers, too. Let's compare some pairs to see which I have more of.
type the multiples of each denominator into the boxes below the bowls. All right! Now find and click on the least common multiple for these denominators. Awesome! Look at these LCDs and their numerators. Click on the two that match the fractions 3 fifths and 7 eighths. Awesome! Click on the fraction that's larger. All right! Type the multiples of each denominator into the boxes below the bowls. Awesome! Now find and click on the least common multiple for these denominators. All right! Look at these LCDs and their numerators. Click on the two that match the fractions 3 fourths and 9 tenths. All right! Click on the fraction that's larger. Awesome! Type the multiples of each denominator into the boxes below the bowls. All right! Now find and click on the least common multiple for these denominators. Awesome! Look at these LCDs and their numerators. Click on the two that match the fractions 5 sevenths and 1 third. All right! Click on the fraction that's larger. All right! Hey, Brock. So were my notes helpful? Did you figure out which recipe your Pokemon like best? Actually, I used LCDs to find my MPRs. Uh, MPRs? Most popular recipes. And it looks like my Pokemon are done with their nap. Hey, anyone hungry? Ready to try some more? Ludi Colo, Ludi Colo, Ludi Colo, Ludi Colo. It looks like all of your recipes are NPRs. Look at the two rows of multiples. What numbers are on both lists? What is the lowest of those numbers?
Look at the two rows of multiples. What numbers are on both lists? What is the lowest of those numbers? To get the least common denominator 15 for each fraction, you had to multiply the old denominator 3 times 5 and the old denominator 5 times 3. Now you have to make the numerators match. Try multiplying the old numerators by 5 and 3. Look at the numerators. Which is larger? Look at the two rows of multiples. What numbers are on both lists? What is the lowest of those numbers? To get the least common denominator 18 for each fraction, you had to multiply the old denominator 6 times 3 and the old denominator 9 times 2. Now you have to make the numerators match. Try multiplying the old numerators by 3 and 2. Which numerator is larger? To get the least common denominator 18 for each fraction, you had to multiply the old denominator 4 times 7 and the old denominator 7 times 4. Now you have to make the numerators match. Try multiplying the old numerators by 7 and 4. Type the multiples of each denominator into the boxes below the bowls. Type the multiples of each denominator into the boxes below the bowls. Type the multiples of each denominator into the boxes below the bowls. Try again.